An object of weight 12 newton rests on a platform on top of the container with two pistons. The container contains a fixed mass of gas and the pistons are free to push in and out. The plunger is slowly pushed 4 cm to the right. It's going to push this in. 4 cm. As a result, this object will slowly move upwards by a distance of 0 0.5 cm. How much work done? Uh, how much work is done on the object? This is work done due to what ah? gas, right? When we think of work done and gas, we have W equals to some constant pressure times the change in volume. Do we have enough information to do that here? Yes, we do. So we are going to focus more on this side because this is where the work is actually being done or the, the, the main thing that we need to find work done on the object. So when you look at pressure times the change in volume, pressure is what? Ah? What kind of pressure? Why would there be a pressure? You see, you want to lift this object slowly upwards. What, because, why, why, why do we need that? Because the object is heavy. It has some kind of weight that you need to oppose. This weight is 12 newton. So whatever your piston does, it has to at least oppose that. Lah. Roughly, roughly 12 or there, thereabouts. So we can assume that the pressure exerted uh, at the piston side will be related to the weight of the object. So pressure is force per unit area. You need to oppose that weight, so you need to have weight per unit area. Area referring to area of this um, cross-section area where your force is being exerted. So this we're going to substitute in with weight over area. How about the change in volume of the gas? When we look at just this part, there will be a change in volume when you move your piston from some lower position to the higher position and that is related to your 0 0.5 cm. So what we can do is we say some don't know what cross-section area times a change in height of that piston. So the nice thing is that the area, although we don't know it, we can cancel it out. So all you need to sub in is the weight 12. Oh, it's got so many W. Ah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Work done. Let's do that. Okay. 12 times the change in height, which is 0 0.5 cm. So times 10, negative 2. That should give me a value of 0 0.06 joules. So by looking at that, we can see probably our choice here will be A. When we look at the work done moving that object. Now you might be wondering, Miss, then what about this 4 cm right here? What is the purpose of this? The purpose of this pushing down this plunger is to at first give it a little push to start moving upwards. So what this piston here is mainly to control the pressure. Control pressure. But we can kind of treat them as separate systems. See, I draw a line, cut it out. Because you are doing it at such a slow pace that overall the pressure is kept constant by adjusting the volume of this whole system. I know it sounds a bit complicated. Don't worry, we'll see more about it and learn more about it in A2. All these gas law things and what all these changes. But for now, we'll stick to our W equals to P delta V. And also our P equals to force per unit area. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.